Hey guys, I'm Bayzel here. Welcome back to the channel. So, sort of a busy day today for Apple releasing beta software as well as official software for the general public. And in this video, we're going to cover today's release, iOS 15.2. Point one, and this is an official software release for iPhone and iPad users. So right now you can update to the software. Of course, in this video, we're going to go over everything that's new within the latest iOS 15.2. Point one. As always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, something a bit surprising, as I mentioned, Apple has released beta software alongside official software today. iOS 15.2.1 for the iPhone and iPadOS has been released, and uh, this one comes in at approximately 700 to 800 megabytes of a download, and this one includes a few important bug fixes, of course which we'll cover in this video but before we do i want to head on over here and share with you guys the latest bill number for those of you that might be interested and there it is ios 15.2.1 19c63 is going to be the new bill number for ios 15.2.1 again this software did not have any beta testing whatsoever this is only fixing a few things within the platform the first thing i want to talk about is messages so within imessage apple has addressed one major bug for many users that reported that any photos sent via an iCloud link were not loaded properly on the other end. So the first bug fix here is messages may not load photos sent via iCloud link. So if you were sharing a photo with someone else, send the link to them to see the photos. They couldn't see those pictures on their end. They wouldn't load. And many users actually reported on this. Unfortunately, I didn't encounter this issue. Or fortunately, I did not encounter this issue. But it looks like Apple has addressed this particular issue with the latest 15.2.1. Now, I've had this software install on this device for about an hour approximately and I've noticed that there's also another bug that Apple looks to be addressing with this software that was not mentioned on the release notes and that is the message read receipts now this feature here this option here when you enable it it allows another person on the other end of an iMessage conversation to know when you see and read a message however there was a bug that even if this toggle was turned off the other person can see if you read the message now it looks like 15.2.1 has addressed this issue, at least for the hour that I've been testing the software, it looks like it's been addressed with the latest 15.2.1. If you were having this bug, I would like to hear from you in those comments down below. Is it fixed for you if you did update to the latest 15.2.1? And now the next thing I want to talk about is CarPlay. Now there's also another issue that Apple is looking to address with the latest software update for iOS 15, and that is CarPlay and third-party applications. So third-party applications may not respond to input with the CarPlay feature on iPhone for the latest 15.2. So 15.2.1 addresses any third-party application issues where you couldn't tap on the screen or launch any third-party applications. And this is not related to Apple apps, but rather third-party applications wouldn't load properly. If you try to tap around the screen, it wouldn't load properly either. Let me know if you encountered this issue in those comments down below. Below, as I've haven't tested this particular problem or I have encountered this issue on the latest 15.2 on my end. And there you guys have it. Just a super quick video on iOS 15.2.1. Definitely recommend to update right now. Again, no beta testing. This is out for everyone that has an iPhone that supports iOS 15 as well as iPad. Make sure to stay tuned for my follow-up video and of course my coverage of iOS 15.3 beta 2, which was released today by Apple as well. I'm still digging around this software. So expect a another video later today uh, the latest tomorrow on some of the latest new features for the beta if you're interested in that make sure to subscribe and of course make sure to turn on those notifications video coming soon thank you for watching guys and i'll see you on the next one peace